We've got sunshine breaking through the cloud cover. Now, the, the clouds will be in and out, and we did have a morning round of showers come through. So downtown, work progresses over uh, the Center Point project. Crane on the move. Uh, the rainfall tells the story. It wasn't much. Um, didn't even register at Bluegrass Airport as far as uh, what came through this morning. But it, it was a quick pop of light to at times a few moderate showers out there. And they're long gone. This is just after, uh, well, the showers moved off to the northeast. And uh, there you can see the more widespread rain arcing up from Cleveland down through Indy and St. Louis. So this is where most of it is going to be today. Got a big ridge of high pressure off the uh, east coast and you've got a wave of low pressure northwest. So beyond that, quite a bit of snow flying. In fact, there's a big winter storm. Winter storm warnings out uh, from Salt Lake City running northeast. Winter weather advisories going up into the upper Midwest all the way to the northern tip of Michigan and the Yoop, the upper peninsula there. We're far enough southeast, obviously we're in the balmy air. Have you been outside? Have you felt it? Have you heard that south to southwesterly wind gusting? For today, just an isolated shower chance. All the action again stays north, so not really much of a concern. And more of the same tomorrow. As you hit midweek, though, we're going to start to track a better chance for showers and even some thunderstorms and a return to unsettled wetter weather and the potential uh, for some possible flooding later in the week as well. So it does get active. And uh, speaking of flooding, I mean, look at these rainfall projections. Now, this is starting Wednesday morning, 6 a.m., and then going through the weekend into Sunday night. And you can see how the numbers climb. By Friday morning, we're anywhere from a half an inch to maybe an inch or two of rain. And then over the weekend, as these waves just keep coming, there's a potential up to maybe a half a foot of rain back towards western Kentucky. We'll be probably in about that two to four inch plus range. It'll be spread out over a number of days. But remember, we're still fairly saturated from all the recent rain we've had. So it's not going to take much to prompt additional flooding. Now, as far as the warmth goes... It's two in Grand Forks, 10 in Duluth. Clearly, there's a frontal boundary to the west, and right there it is. So we've had a warm front lift north. That's what sparked those showers this morning, a gusty southerly wind, very warm. Uh, that warmer air just kind of pulling around the back end of that uh, high off to the southeast. So we've got near record, if not record, heat today and tomorrow. Records for today. We've got to hit 75 in Lexington. We're shooting for the low to maybe mid-70s, so we'll be close. Tomorrow... Should be easy. Highs around 80, and our record is in the low 70s. So there's the rain that kicks in, and you can see that uh, temperature hit that will take. And if you look at record highs, not just in Lexington, but also Jackson and London, they're all in the low to mid-70s. So these are both opportunities to knock those old records down or at least high in the next couple of days. Here's your eight-day forecast showing just how incredibly warm it's going to be and how it doesn't last much beyond that. As the shower and storm chance ramps up, we're still way above average, even Wednesday, upper 60s. But that's a cold front Wednesday. So on the back end of it, we're down to the mid-50s, which coincidentally is still above average. But we'll have a good chance for rounds of showers, occasional thunderstorms, and possibly some heavy rain. So we'll really need to start to monitor the potential for additional flooding concerns, especially as we get into the end of the work week and into the weekend as yet another wave tracks our way Saturday into Sunday.